Hello, everyone. It's just going to be about 30 seconds. All right. Okay, you guys don't get to see me again today because 10 minutes ago I said, OMG, I only have 10 minutes? And I'm not ready because I was preparing the project I created. Took a while to create this project and I have more ideas within this project. And it's not, well, this is done and then I have another one. This one's almost finished. I'll show you what we're gonna do. But I wanted to show you, make sure we're live on YouTube. Yep. Okay, we're live on YouTube. First off, let's look at this as it is. I made this out of chipboard. The complete thing is made out of chipboard, not just um, this. Let me, whoops, okay, flashlight. I decided, you can see, hold on. Um, hi everybody on Facebook and YouTube. The chat you see is on YouTube. Um, so if you wanna be in the video, come on over to YouTube. Okay, so I use Cricut glitter paper and I just found out today that, boy, if I use my flashlight on my light, on my phone, you can actually see the glitter. Because without it, look, that just kinda of looks black. And I can show it up like that. It's not as pretty as when I go like this. Isn't that pretty? so pretty so i made this one and then we're gonna make one with gold and it's gonna say this is an image from design space it's gonna be i wish i was a mermaid it's so cute oh i guess you don't need that light for that i wish i was a mermaid has a mermaid on it where'd the mermaid go there she is okay I'm going to set this to the side. So I'm going to show you something else before I completely show you. So I used brushed, the new premium brush vinyl, except for where these teal flowers are. These teal flowers are not the brushed. Can you see the difference? Like you can almost see the light behind it. So I got my bright pad. Turn it on. Whoops. I don't think I have the correct plug for it. So if I put this up into the light and in the window, that, um, the brushed vinyl is so pretty. And I just had to show you that because I didn't know that until after I put this on. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that brush. It's almost like a translucent, but not completely translucent. Can you see the difference of this flower and this flower and this and this? Like, those just look dark, but the other, they're so pretty in the light. So what I did is I put the vinyl on top of acetate and I made this a frame. And let me turn this off. You can make the base and this is interchangeable so you can just make one of these if you want. You can make it in different colors. I made it out of chipboard and that's what we're gonna be putting together today. For those of you who support me on Patreon or Facebook or YouTube or all of them, you have my file already. It's, I made posts. I did not put it with all the other files yet. I'm Melody Lane inspired. So I could use the same base with the other one, but I'm gonna make another one and show you how to do it and then they can be interchangeable. So you don't have to keep repeating these like if you wanna do one for a different season or holiday or anything you want. Look, isn't that cool? I like it. So we're gonna put that together today. All right, who's ready for that? All right, I want to make sure I can see your chat and see what I'm doing. I'm not going to be using this. Oh, I'm like, wait a minute, where's my stuff? So this is the frame part. And in the files, you have the complete frame and base. And then I also made a file with just the base 
and as I, I will do more frames and stuff and add those in just for the frame and then you can always cut out the base. You don't have to cut it all out. This image, Live Life in Full Bloom with These Flowers, is in excess as one image. This bottom piece is also in excess as one image. And I'm not sure if these flowers are from this image. The Live Life in Full Bloom might not have any flowers with it, and I just probably duplicated that to make the flowers. So if you don't have access, this file will cost you $1.98 or you can purchase the images and they're yours forever. Or if you have access, they're free. Now the Irish one, thank you, Gail. Um, if you don't have access, it's only 99 cents. That's a, in uh, Design Space. All The stand and everything else I created in Design Space out of free images. Uh, put, cap, put capitals. <laughs> Put questions in all caps. Kathy is asking, did you glue the glitter black as vinyl or cardstock? I did cardstock. So we're using cardstock to cover this. You don't have to use glitter cardstock. You can use any color, any pattern. You could even possibly emboss it first. I don't know. You could do pretty much anything you want with that. So first we're gonna glue this together. And I'm going to take it all apart so you can see it. So you have three of these. And this is the bottom base. And then you have these pieces. So I'm using art glitter glue. It's the glue I use for everything. And I need to move my monitor so I can read your chat better. And see all the chat from Facebook. So this may be a long video. If you're watching the replay, you may want to um, fast forward. And this was designed to only work with Cricut two millimeter chipboard. The reason is because it all has to fit inside each other. So when you glue these on, oh, you know what else we need a link for is these um, clips. I'm gonna put, make sure these are even by putting them flat on the table, holding it. Mm -hmm. The wonder clips. And I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this. Make sure there's glue around the edge and it has to fit even so I'm gonna put this on here I have not tried it with any other adhesive or anything I'm gonna make sure it's all even every side and then I'm gonna use these big wonder clips and hold them on until it dries because we don't want any gaps or anything showing. It's gonna be covered up with paper, but if it's thicker, it's not gonna, the paper won't fit it. Okay, and then we did do, okay, I didn't have any of these edges let me put my pen. Let me show you what I'm going to do while that's drying. That Kelly thankfully helped me. All these little pieces are going to go on here. And on the black pieces, I used a black marker. And I'm using a, this is acrylic, acrylic. This is Cricut gold pen. This is one of their older ones. I don't think they have them in gray anymore. But it's the gold metallic pen. I went across the edge because the paper I'm using has a white core. So you'll want to go across the edge to match whatever paper you're using if it has a white core. Now you could use Cricut cardstock and it doesn't have a white core. There's no need to do any of that. Okay. 
Okay. Um, all right, so while that's drying, let's do the part that goes inside here. So those are not right. These are right. You want to make sure these all fit in correctly, and it does if that clip wasn't there. So I'm going to glue, okay, so you guys can see, these are two, two little squares, and I'm going to glue one down first on the edge. Oh, and that still has purple tape on it. And make sure it's all the way to the edge. I'm gonna put that clip there. And then I'm gonna use this just to make sure it all fits. And glue this down to this edge. We do not wanna glue this to anything. It's never, I never glue that. Just to make sure that will fit. Because if that didn't fit, we're in trouble. So I'm gonna put glue on here. Put that down. Put it on the edge. Make sure it's good and clip that. Um, I'm going to take off this tape. I really need to get my nails done. Do we have any questions so far? I found these clips from watching Lori Nunemaker's video. She uses them for fabric, for sewing, instead of pins. Okay, so now we're gonna glue this, not that one. Make sure before you glue, everything is the right size. So now we're only gonna put glue on this top piece. These two squares we just glued down. Make sure those are even on all sides. And clip those back. This looks good. Thank you, Peggy. Here, you can put some over here. Thank you, Callie. Mm -hmm. She inked up the edges. Without Callie and Janet, my assistants, this, you would not be seeing this video yet. It might have been next week. Okay, now I want to make sure this fits inside here and goes all the way through. Got that in there. And there's the bottom. 
then we can glue this on there. I never did get that purple tape off. There we go. And make sure this fits. So that fits in like that. But we don't want this in there when we glue that bottom piece because we wouldn't want to accidentally glue this on. And if it went all the way down to the bottom like that, we could glue it on. We gotta make sure this is down all the way flush because these papers fit on here perfectly to cover it up so you don't see any chipboard. Okay, so now we're gonna glue this here Now, I don't expect anyone to watch this video live and know exactly how to do it. How I learned to do things is, I'm gonna put glue on this. Um, I watch it, then I might go cut it out and then turn the video on again and watch a first few steps and then go do that part. Because now you could go cut this out now and you may not remember how to do this exactly. So now we want this. To be even. Whoops. I'm going to add more glue. Oh, I think when I did this before I took off this tip. That's what was different. Because you don't want the glue to dry. You want to make sure it's straight. So I'm just making sure all the edges are very even. And we're gonna have to use the large wonder clips and let this dry a little. Okay, so the base is pretty much done. That didn't take very long to put it together. And it doesn't take too terribly long to cut out because it's just straight pieces. It's not intricate. Although I have an intricate thing cut for this that took eight hours and I'm like, I'm not doing that one. <laughs> um, so let's line up these pieces so I can show you what they are. So this piece it has a hole in the middle, and then this piece also has a hole, but it's much bigger. So this one goes down inside there, and this one goes on top right here. So the entire thing will be covered in paper. Any paper you choose. This project is pretty much only for the maker. Okay, now let's look at our other pieces for the base. I'm gonna line these up so you can see them better. Uh, Janet, will you turn my light on? Because there's no glaring right now, I'm not doing the acetate, and I think it will help a little. 
Okay, and then this long piece. Okay, these two here, you'll notice they're not the same size, but they're for to go around the base. One is longer because we're going to fold it to go over each edge. So the front of this will be very pretty. And the same thing with the wider ones. This wider piece will go up here, but you want to fold it around the edge before we glue it. So the front will look pretty and you won't see any corner pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off. See, I squeeze some of that glue out. I'll leave that one on. We're gonna go ahead and, well, this is gonna be hard to do. Do this bottom edge. So the bottom edge is the longest thin one. Now, now I have these edgings in the file. These edges are for the edge of the chipboard. So nowhere do you see chipboard. So we go around the edge on the outside and inside of the frame. Okay, where were we? All right, nope, wrong one. And this is all edged. And what I'm gonna do first is put this on the edge, match it up to this corner, bend it around there, pull it and go around to this edge. So you have one solid piece there and I'm just gonna bend it a little. I did not score these just because it's just a bend and you can kind of just do what I did so it'll be perfect for you. So now I'm gonna start gluing the edge. So if you've never used my Design Space files, um, I do try to make them so you're not just getting the piece for the chipboard, you get the pieces cut out for all the edging. All you have to do, if you want to make this file exactly like I have it, all you have to do is hit make it. You don't have to customize, you don't have to size anything, and you do not want to size these things unless you have absolutely everything in the file selected. You have to hit select all, but you cannot make this any bigger because the chipboard is only 11 by 11. So this piece, you, you can't make it, no, I said that wrong. I said you could select it all and make it change the size and you can't. There's absolutely no way to do that. If you want a different size frame, let me know and maybe I can, um, I can create another one that will fit inside this base. Because, if you make it smaller or bigger, the holes in here, these holes will all change and it won't fit the chipboard. So you cannot change the size. It's kind of like Cricut doesn't let you customize fabric projects for the same reason, because of the, uh, what's that called? The cutting area on the edges. So do not change the size. So I'm putting this on and I'm kind of making it so it's completely even. How long did it take to cut out the chipboard pieces? Um, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half for all, it's two pieces of chipboard. I don't know, I, I wasn't totally paying attention because I was doing other things while it cuts out. And I remember looking at it and it had like a half hour left. This piece doesn't take very long, maybe a half hour. It could be only an hour for all of it. It's not a long time.
Tara. I'm glad you can watch it live. Okay, so we have that edge done. And then we can flip it over and do the other edge. So I'm going to put glue on the base. And you do not want anywhere to be without glue. Like you don't want to put some here, then here, then here, because the paper will lift off and you'll kind of see a gap. So I'm just going to lay this down. I think I have a lot of glue on this one. I'm gonna push this on together. Let the glue, the gloop, the glue goop out. Oh, and I'm using this brayer. I use this brayer on the frame to get the paper on there even. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. This makes it stick down so well. It's not what the brayer was made for, but it's what I'm using it for. There's a link below for the brayer and the cardstock and everything I'm using today. Okay, now let's glue this piece on. Um, So it just fits in there. Just push that down. And I'm going to add these again. Wipe off that glue. almost doesn't fit. There we go. Thank you, Kathy. Now you can use those funny emojis. Can you guys show her the emojis? Now, being a member of my channel, like Kathy just did, she clicked the join button. She will get hundreds of my design space files, including this one. You get hundreds. These are not SVG files. So if I do use an image, like the Live Life in Full Bloom, there may be a charge for that. But you don't have to use that. You can just make the frame. Oh, I should give them a free frame. I'm going to make another file. Uh, and I'll put it on the Melody Lane Inspired when I update that. Um, so you can have a blank frame and you can put any image you want in there or, you know, say anything you want, use fonts from your computer. It won't cost you a dime to use the file. Also, you don't have to use acetate. I just did acetate because I thought it was fun. You could use poster board or you could keep a chipboard and you could put chalkboard vinyl and make your own chalkboard a white erase vinyl. You can just put paper. You can do anything you want. The possibilities are endless. Okay, so now we're going to do this little one. We'll go right up on top of here. So I'm going to glue that on and then I'm going to put this in and make sure it fits. Or should I do that? No, it'll be I almost feel like I should just place this here, put this in, it's 
got to be even. There we go. Yeah, that just making sure this fits it should be okay. So I'm going to put glue on it and then put that on there. And when you become a member on my channel, you get a special badge, the little cricket that grows over time. You can see people have different kinds of badges. You start with a cricket head with no antennas, and after a month you grow antennas. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Joan. Okay, now I'm going to stick this in before the glue dries so I can make sure it's good. Okay, now I'm going to press it down. I'm going to take this out. Oops. So I want the glue to goop out and then dry on here. And I'm gonna go across this. This brayer is awesome. Okay, now all we have left are the sides. Thank you, Susan. And I got glue on my finger, so I'm gonna rub that off. Darlene says, could you use chocolate on it? Sure, if you you can use chocolate on um I've never used it on acetate. You might be able to, but you could do it on cardstock or poster board or uh, make a chalkboard. Oh, and on this one, I made some rolled flowers that you could decorate on the frame. Like you can put those on the frame or even on the acetate. You can add things to this. Oh, you guys can't see. You can add things to this to make it look well, to make it more dimensional, not just look more dimensional. Could put some over here. Put that one there. Maybe this one here. You know, you can do anything you want. You can cover the entire frame in rolled flowers if you wanted to. That would be pretty. Okay, back to this. Okay, now who watched me make the Cricut um, watercolor last night? Last night I did an unplanned video and taught you how to make the Cricut watercolor. That was fun. Okay, so raise your hand if you watch that. Thank you, Ginger. What am I missing? Oh, we didn't do this part yet. Okay. So this part is one of the longest one is one that will wrap around. So I'm going to just put it on the edge there and then just kind of wrap it and then fold it over here. And then I'm going to take those pieces and give them a good fold. Now I want to make sure I do it on the same side as this front piece that 
Oh, see, that's coming up a little. I need to push that down. Okay, we're going to start it over here. And um, during my live video last night, we were talking about we could have the Cricut use the score tool to do to draw the color the watercolor picture and then we don't have to trace it and it works. So if you want the Cricut to do most of the work, it will do it. And we're gonna glue this piece. And for these side pieces, we're just going to have to hold them on there until they dry. And I will read the chat. What is this project called? Um, I don't know. It's a f frame, kind of. Okay, hold these on until they're dry. I'm gonna stick this one in here. So there's what it looks like with a different color base that it does frame. And you can totally make those different. You could do this for Valentine's Day. That's really pretty. Isn't it pretty? You could kind of make this an award. Thank you, Fatima. Um, you could, because this reminds me of like a trophy and you could make this an award and just put, you know, uh, whatever you want to write to somebody, you know, their name for whatever. And then they're interchangeable. Just pull that out. Oh, we got to do the other side. I can do that now while that's drying. And... Now make sure you go over the edges if they've got white edges. And make sure it's even on each side. Uh, there there is a file with just the sign base and that's what I call this bottom part is the sign base but right now the other files I have the one that says I wish I was a mermaid um, has everything included and so does the in full bloom Okay. 
So now the base is done. Isn't that pretty? I just love that glitter. I love Cricut glitter cardstock. Okay, now let's do the vinyl and the acetate. Here's the acetate. And what I'm going to do, so I know I'm putting the vinyl in the right spot, is I'm going to put this underneath it so I can kind of have an idea where to put the vinyl because I, I messed up that one a little bit, but you can't tell. I had it over to one side more, and so all I did is I glued it more over to the edge. Okay, so... I'm using Cricut Strong Grip Glitter, or Transfer. I wish. So this is an image in Design Space. I don't know if it's a new image or if it's been there. I've never, I don't remember seeing this. I wish I was a mermaid. So it's gonna go like that. So I'm going to, I'm going to either start. Okay, I'm going to put the mermaid on first. So I'm going to use transfer tape. Uh, Evelyn on Facebook is asking, what is the name of the clips and does Amazon carry them? Yes, they are from Amazon. And do I have the links in the Facebook? You do, but not for the clips. I'll get the clips. Okay, we're going to get a link for the clips and post them. Where'd my scraper go? Yes, you did. If you like this video, make sure you are subscribed. And click like and share it with your friends. And I also say uh, with my design space projects, they're just design space projects and you have um, complete, if there are images that are in access and not Disney or licensed, you can totally use these projects to sell your stuff. It looks like I'm putting this right on the mat, doesn't it? See, it's on the acetate. wrong that's something like would totally do okay I'm gonna use the same piece turn that over push this down
you, Tara. <coughs> so I need to pull this back really flat. And if some doesn't want to go down, you just push it. That's what I'm doing, pushing that down. And sometimes I drag it from a different way to make it easier. Don't put it on upside down. Okay, now this is not even. I think it's fine. And I've been using the same piece of strong grip. Do you guys hear that snoring from my dogs? <laughs> Joan is always so funny. Evelyn, you did miss the links for the clips. The link for the clips. Um, it's in the chat. Can you put it on Facebook? I don't. Okay. I was saying, I saw it on YouTube, but I didn't. I'll reply to her comment. Okay, she's going to reply and give you the link. This, I wish I was a mermaid, or it's Irish, I was a mermaid. That, it made me laugh when I read that. That is just an access image. Oh, that's too high. I can never make up my mind what I'm doing. is long enough for the mermaid. So I'm going to get another one. What's this one? That one is. We're almost 
done. Who thinks they can do this? I think you all can make this frame. This glitter vinyl, if you do not have the strong grip, it's really, really hard to work with. It's even hard with the strong grip. Well, I guess this one's a new one, but. And harder when you keep reusing the same transfer over and over. And when you're cutting a uh, glitter vinyl, make sure you have it on the right setting for glitter vinyl, not just regular vinyl. And the texture vinyl and the brushed vinyl, there is a setting for each one of those. So make sure you pick the correct setting. Not the brushed and textured is premium, but you can't just use premium. You have to choose the correct one. I wish I was a mermaid. <laughs> I just think that is so fun. thing wasn't straight. Is that going to come off? Well, and I thought I thought I looked at it and thought it was straight. Okay. So that wasn't straight. So I had this actually off of the acetate, which won't work because that, it would totally cover that up. And my mermaid is a little uneven, but that's okay. I'm just gonna throw this one down here. I just gotta improvise. Could have thrown it up there too, but there we go. See, I have to make mistakes so you guys know how to fix them and you guys don't make the same mistakes I make. Okay, so next we're gonna glue this to here. It's pretty easy. So we want to make sure we have glue around the edges, the inside and outside edge. I do not have the little silver tip on my glue because it would dry too fast. And we are going to put this on and we're going to get it straight. So kind of go around the whole thing and make sure it's all straight and fits it properly. And 
man, I'm using my roller, my brayer. Do you guys see it? There it is. Do this while it's still just a little wet. Don't wait till it's dry. And this will get the paper on there nice and smooth. to this side. Hmm. I don't know. Um, so now we're going to put the edging on, oh wait, the outside one, I wait until we're done. check the cut on this like I don't know if I had that too far up and it didn't cut all the way the outside goes there so now we have these little pieces we're gonna find out where these go this goes on the inside you just have to kind of line them up and see what fits so those two go on the inside we're gonna put the inside pieces on now and this one is an inside. And this one is an inside. So now we're going to glue the inside edge so you don't see any of that chipboard. And remember, I inked the edges of all these or Callie did, my sister. And these are just a tiny bit long, but I since I've um, shared the file, I changed it before, after these were cut. After I put that one together, I'm like, ooh, that's just a little long. So I'm gonna push this in. And I'm gonna ink the inside edge of this frame. And if you use my code, you guys get 10% off everything you buy at Cricut, as long as it doesn't plug in or digital images. And you have to have a $50 minimum in your subtotal, but that's before discounts. So now I'm gonna glue the other side. And then we're going to do the insides here.
Okay, and then we're going to do the inside here. And we're almost done. Then we're going to glue on the acetate and then go around the outside edge. Thank you guys for answering questions. Thank you, Joan, for your humor. <laughs> you guys are so funny in the chat. Okay, so now we're going to glue this down. And I think I can put this down at an angle to make it look straight. <laughs> think I can do that? I'm gonna cut off. You do not need to cut this off unless you messed up like I did. I'm just gonna cut off just a teeny bit. So I can kind of make that look a little straighter. We'll see. So now I'm just going to put glue around this edge, just the inside edge. And no one's going to see the back. Well, they'll see this in the back, but we have another frame covering for the back. So we're going to go ahead and um, okay. we're going to put the other piece of the frame on. We're going to go around the outer side of the edge and a little bit on top of the acetate too. And we're going to get this straight. And I got glue right there. I found I can clean the acetate with a little lemon oil. I, I wish I was a mermaid. I just, that just makes me laugh. All right, let's put the edges on. Bring this in the top edge. So this is easy. I don't know why this chipboard did not cut out correctly and I didn't notice that. I thought I checked it and it was perfect. So I'm gonna check my file just to make sure. 
So the other one cut out just fine. And this just bends down if it's a little long at the bottom. I might have changed the size on this one too since I cut it. And then the other side and we are done. Don't leave any gaps without glue. And this was much easier to put together when you're not live in video. It's more relaxing and I can do it slower and get it more perfect. Awesome, Leslie, I'm glad you like it. I have many more ideas for it too, to do other things and not just a frame that will also work inside here. So we can put this in here and it's completely gold or we could even put it in this one or we could make one with green. I'll put it in this one for now. But this one, looking at this gold, um, gold glitter paper I was thinking this would be a really pretty like trophy like you could just make just for no reason you know just something isn't that cool and then here's the other one and you could add flowers or you could add things to the outside of the frame And they stand up. You don't have to use glitter. You can use whatever you want to use. I used paper, not vinyl, just because I think paper is much easier to get down there in the right place. So I think the paper is much easier to work with than the vinyl. Vinyl on this part. There's the back of that one. And you could do something without words and it's completely double-sided. Well, this one, it's all silver, but you could do vinyl that has two sides. What do you guys think? On the textured vinyl, does it matter what color? No, you can use any color you want. The black is the textured vinyl. See the words? That's textured vinyl. The purple and that green there is brushed vinyl and the pink is also brushed. And then that teal is not. I think that's just old vinyl. And then this was just Cricut uh, glitter vinyl, the green and the gold. But it would be fun to do something with holographic paper or holographic vinyl. Uh, could you do this on printed chipboard? The damask chipboard, the Cricut chipboard is a different size. So I don't think it'll fit because this base, I mean, you could play with it. And Try to make it fit. This base is made to fit, but if you use damask chipboard in here, that is really showing the thickness for this, but you might need a different size hole inside here. So you could play around and if you only have different chipboard, you could do some test cutting and make it fit. But I just think that's so fun. Let's switch it up. But I was thinking you could change these for different holidays or you could make uh, something for a birthday. And they're easy to store. Like if you want to store these away, they're real thin. 
like for the holidays or so there's what it looks like with different color base Uh, Ginger's question has anyone tried to spray paint or paint the chipboard does it bubble I haven't I haven't tried you could test I would test that with a piece of scrap I think people have painted the chipboard but I'm not gonna say it's not gonna do it I haven't done it and I don't remember the results of other people so you could try painting it I was gonna try painting it sometime and then the bottom is just, isn't that cool? Uh, you could probably cut chipboard with an X-Acto knife. Um, I would use the Cricut knife. This is the True Control knife. So that is, thank you, Claire. So if you don't have the Cricut maker and you have a knife and you have my file, you could cut my file out of paper and use that as a stencil on top of the chipboard and cut it out with an X-Acto knife or the True Control knife blade. Does that, that, I think that would work. And this one's upside down. Here, we'll put this one in the black case or base. Is that fun? Yeah, you could put a mandala in there. Did you guys see the new mandalas in Design Space? You might want to check them out. I shared them on Facebook. Oh, Leslie Z says I might put a uh, lacy doily edges to make it for Valentine's. You totally could do that. Kathy says, uh, Claire, it cuts nicely with the true control blade. Just press lightly and make a number of passes. So you can, if you have the Cricut true control blade, you can cut the chipboard. Uh, when cutting chipboard, I uh, did not butt them together. There is space between them. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go, and I will, um, what day is it, Tuesday? I'll see you Thursday. We have another fun video. All right, guys, and then Saturday is Cricut Design Space class at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, and a Patreon hangout. And for all of the people who support me, you can come and chat in the video. It will be a um, unlisted video, so it's not for the public. But we get to come in and chat with each other and hang out. All right, guys. Love you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.